we are habit-made people. By the time we become adults, we rarely notice the habits that are running our lives. Most of us never give a second thought to the fact that we tie the same shoe first each morning or unplug the toaster after each use or always change into comfortable clothes after getting home from work. After decades of mental programming, we automatically slip into these patterns of thinking and acting. Wait, what? That's not true. Not always. I choose every morning what to have for breakfast. I choose to dry my hair first and after dress after a shower. And I choose what to buy and what not. But the thing is, I don't feel hungry every morning. I eat, however, because this is what I do after going out of bed. I dry my hair immediately after showering without even thinking. And by the time I realize it to change my pattern, my hair is halfway dry already. And I buy every time when there is an occasion to buy because I'm always surrounded by endless occasions of purchase. Because the habit of shopping is part of the decades of mental programming and our modern society's consciousness. Hello, I'm Alexandra and you're with Brave New World, where we discuss fashion, yes, but through the lenses of mindful living and a sustainable approach. Today, I would like to give more highlights on the habit of shopping. And if you're a compulsive shopper, don't worry, the goal is not to make you feel in a contrast, but to help you individualize your pattern and save you a lot of money from unnecessary shopping. The quotes I shared at the beginning of this video are from James Clear's book, Atomic Habits, uh, link below. For me, it's one of those rare gems that hits you with truth. How often do we truly choose or are our choices predetermined? Think about your last purchase. Was it a need or an impulse of the moment buy? How many of us can say that the last item they bought, the, the last item we bought was actually needed? Needed to be understood as I craved it for more than a month, went out specifically to buy this item and bought it as a replacement for another item that is broken or anyhow unavailable anymore. You might think you have the power of choice over your purchases, especially when it comes to shopping. But let me tell you that every fashion company knows exactly how to program your choice. I've seen the tactics um, firsthand working as a designer in a fashion brand. And this is the magic formula. Imagine I'm a fashion brand. To lure you in, I showcase trendy pieces on my window walls. Yet, once inside, you are met with low prices for everybody basic, simply encouraging a purchase. Whether it's a staple tee or a limited edition t-shirt, there is something for everyone. As you step further, you're flushed by exclusive capsule collections leading to impulsive buys. It's a calculated strategy. One in three visitors will end up queuing at the cash desk with at least one item in their hands. And if you're this one of three, you will find yourself waiting for your turn to pay next to my socks bag, my uh, matching new collection notebooks, uh, do collaboration with some uh, perfume or skincare retailer, and so on. You see what I mean? You might think you have the choice to buy or not, but you're surrounded by the stimulus to buy coming from every single shop on your way anywhere you go. The point that it feels already natural to you. So naturally you choose to buy. And this is exactly where your habit lies in the constant decision of buying. But the question is not what, the question is if. If I buy this thing. Shopping just for the sake of shopping is dangerous. On a regular basis, it could be something small like $4.99 new nail polish or a $30.99 tank top. But in the long run, let's say in a year, this $30.99 or $4.99 become thousands. Thousands we spend on things, majority of which we don't need, not really. So how do we break this cycle and avoid getting to, into the trap of shopping habits? The answer is with the five following questions. One. Do I really, really need this item or do I just want it? Two, has it there been a month since I want to buy it? Three, will I go out to make this specific purchase? Four, will this item be a replacement of another item that is broken or anyhow unavailable anymore? And finally, five, 
does this brand deserve my money? Because the fashion industry is one of the most unfair and polluting in the world and destroys our life, you believe it or not. I have plenty of videos on this topic, all links you will find in the description below. Use these five questions every time you're close to a purchase to break your chain from the shopping habit. Be strong, do it for you and your brave new world. Thank you for watching. Uh, I was so into the topic that I forgot to say. <laughs> your likes, shares, comment, comments and subscribe do so much for me that you cannot even imagine but most of all i'm so proud to have you as a community and share the same values with you thank you for watching